Build your fortune. In today's video, we will be giving you the how to build wealth, the five most effective methods. Here's what we'll cover. Strategies for wealth creation, financial principles, and actionable steps. So get prepared, fellow trailblazers. This is Luxury Explored, the ultimate destination for those seeking the most refined luxuries in life, serving connoisseurs worldwide. Before delving further, ensure to like, subscribe, and join us for our regular engaging and informative videos. Number one, they track everything. The average person often doesn't have a clear idea of what percentage of their income goes into living expenses or entertainment, let alone how much they save monthly. This isn't surprising considering a majority, about 61%, of American adults don't practice budgeting. However, the wealthy emphasize the importance of budgeting and tracking expenses. They typically start by outlining their expected monthly income, incorporating salaries, business earnings, and potential investment returns. Many employ a budgeting technique known as the 20-30-50 method, allocating 50% to living expenses, rent, utilities, groceries, 30% to entertainment, dining out, movies, and saving 20% directly into their savings account. Once they set this budget, the rich meticulously track their spending habits. While some use modern apps that categorize purchases automatically, others prefer old-fashioned methods, jotting down expenses in a note app and tallying them manually at month end. This tracking practice is fundamental for them because they understand that managing finances starts with measuring them. Even if you're not currently earning a substantial income, cultivating these financial habits early is crucial. Knowing that you're engaged with my channel indicates your future wealth potential, so it's essential to develop the necessary skills to handle the wealth you'll amass in the future. Number two, they employ financial discipline. If you ask any millionaire about the crucial traits in attaining wealth, discipline will undoubtedly top the list. Discipline is a fundamental aspect across the board when it comes to building riches. Consider this. To secure a high-paying job, you must exhibit the discipline to pursue a quality education, involving years of rigorous study. Similarly, if wealth stems from entrepreneurship, discipline becomes pivotal. You'll need to invest relentless effort into your business even when friends are out enjoying themselves. As your earnings grow, the role of discipline intensifies. Regardless of income, true wealth remains elusive without the ability to save, which demands discipline. It means opting to stick with a car for a decade instead of splurging on a flashy new one. The consensus among financial experts and successful entrepreneurs echoes this sentiment. Saving is foundational for long-term wealth. Astonishingly, CNBC reports that 57% of Americans have less than $1,000 in savings, with 39% having none at all. While saving can be challenging, there are strategies to ease the process. Implementing automated deductions from your paycheck, diverting a portion directly to savings, was a game changer for my finances. Initially setting aside 10%, I gradually increased this to 20%, doubling my monthly savings. Automated deductions ensure money is saved before temptation strikes to spend it all. Another avenue to bolster savings is by augmenting earnings. Your capacity to save is inherently tethered to your income. While cutting costs is beneficial initially, there's a limit to how much you can reduce monthly expenses. Essentials like housing and food persist. To significantly elevate savings, focus on the other side of the equation, your earnings. Imagine the impact of an extra $100 daily on your savings. If you saved 75% of that additional income monthly for a year, it'd amount to $27,000. Ultimately, accumulating wealth isn't just about making money. 
saving it plays an equally pivotal role. Number three, they live within their means. When most envision the millionaire lifestyle, they picture lavish spending on designer wear and luxurious cars. However, reality contrasts sharply. Millionaires are typically prudent spenders who live within their means. Their ability to amass wealth is often tied to avoiding the income trap. Here's how it works. As people earn more, their spending tends to rise. For example, while a standard sedan suffices on a $50,000 annual income, doubling that might tempt someone toward a luxury vehicle. This surge in spending aligns with Parkinson's law, which posits that work expands to fill the time available for completion. In financial terms, it means spending up to the available amount extending beyond what's in one's bank account, often leading people into crippling debt by maxing out credit lines and cards. The absence of financial education in schools contributes to this lack of financial control. Curriculum focuses on topics like slope calculation and cursive writing, neglecting crucial life skills such as budgeting. Without exposure to sound financial principles from family or friends, managing money becomes a daunting task later in life. Living below one's means is particularly crucial for business owners. While businesses may experience prosperous periods with substantial revenue, they also face downturns. Overspending during prosperous times leaves little cushion for economic downturns, potentially leading to bankruptcy. Mastering the art of living within means lays a strong foundation, especially when moving to method number four. Number four they put their money to work. Life is akin to a game of Monopoly, where the individual possessing the prime properties generates the most cash. Not only do these investments yield positive income during the game, but they also offer a substantial lump sum when sold at the game's conclusion. Yet, acquiring these investments demands cash, prompting the wealthy to make their money work for them through investing. Sadly, when the average person receives income, it's typically spent or stashed in a savings account. While saving is superior to squandering funds on unnecessary items, funneling money into a savings account monthly doesn't foster wealth growth. The average savings account yields a meager 0.09% interest annually. For instance, with $50,000 in savings, you'd earn a paltry $45 in interest. Hence, the affluent prioritize putting their spent or stashed in a savings account, and the earlier one starts, the better. Consider Warren Buffett, who bought his first stock at age 11, and, through strategic investment over decades, ascended to become one of the wealthiest individuals globally. However, ongoing investing isn't exclusive to billionaires. On average, Millionaires invest 20% of their household income annually, constituting a significant part of their wealth accumulation strategy. Surprisingly, these investments aren't always thrilling. Many millionaires invest in familiar avenues like Roth IRAs and 401ks, augmenting these with real estate properties and personal development investments. Number five, they never touch the principal. At this stage, we've learned that the wealthy meticulously track their spending, exercise financial discipline, live frugally, and make their money work for them. Yet, the key distinction between the wealthy and the poor lies in their approach towards spending. The rich never spend their principal. While many millionaires are careful, some indulge in luxury purchases. Surprisingly, splurging on these items doesn't erode their wealth because they never touch the principal. In financial terms, the principal refers to the original sum invested. For instance, if $100,000 was invested in stocks yielding a $2 annual dividend per share, the initial $100,000 represents the principal, while the $20,000 in dividend income is the earnings. Essentially, the rich ensure that their spending doesn't detract from the assets generating income safeguarding their wealth from decline due to spending. Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, 
advocates this spending method. His advice? Live it up, buy everything you want, but buy the assets to pay for them first. Kiyosaki employs a basket of investment properties to fund personal expenditures, like vacations or new cars. Unfortunately, most individuals earn active income, derived from trading time for money. However, spending this type of income directly reduces wealth, as uninvested earnings won't grow to generate surplus cash. To generate passive income, there are various investment options. 1. Investment Properties These involve buying a building with a down payment and earning cash flow through tenant rent payments. 2. Dividend Stocks Stocks that pay dividends quarterly or annually, providing income without reducing the invested amount. 3. Real Estate Investment Trusts REIETEs. These are companies that own income-producing real estate. Investing in REITs is like owning real estate through buying stocks without the hassles of property ownership. No maintenance, tenant issues, or rent collection. In summary, to continue growing wealth while allowing occasional spending, one must spend only the income generated by their assets, never touching the principal. This strategy allows for a balanced lifestyle without compromising long-term financial growth. That's a wrap for this video, How to Build Wealth, The 5 Most Effective Methods. If you learned something, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. This is Luxury Explored.